hey guys uh welcome back to my another video on this video i'm gonna talk about the uh how the uh, ref can work with the uh the html element in the previous video i talked about the uh, difference between the uh, use state and the use ref uh, and on this video i'm going to talk about yes how we can get the HTML element using a ref. So here, uh, what I'm gonna do is I I have the app dot component here, and I have already created a use ref, and I need to create a use ref using the React component here. So this is a use ref here, and I have one button here. And what I'm gonna do is, you know what? I'm gonna remove this everything, and I'm gonna create here the input field. And basically, this input type is going to be uh, the text and I'm going to bind my ref here so once I bind my ref here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a use effect and when the use effect with initializing at first time then what I, I can get is from this ref I can get the current and I can use the any of the uh, the HTML element method here so I'll use a focus so what happened if I use a focus? So now, if I refresh, then it's already focused here. Did you guys see? Maybe not. But if I ref if I refresh at first time, then it's gonna be a ref is going to be focused. Let let me add, add some set timeout, not interval. Set timeout, and say maybe a two second. And after two seconds, it's gonna be focus. So basically, I'm gonna show you what happened in the console log. So by using a ref, which is a very important uh, key of the functionality, what the React provide is we could definitely we can we can get the HTML element using a ref that current and but we just need to put a ref here on my input tag so if i print it here and after two seconds it's going to print me here the input type and it's already a focus here the thing is i'm i we're gonna also we can also do the here the save uh ref we can also set the value here test test but this is not the right way to set a value. We always need to use a use effect to set a value. But we could also use this way. But we should, uh, yeah, we should ignore this way to setting our data or data manipulation, something like that. To do that, we always need to use a, a use uh, state. But uh, when when we get this uh, element, then from this element, we could trigger any. Uh, function any functions or we could set any style stuff like that if I set my style here and style is going to be solid to pixel red I need to also tell them what is my style so I'm going to tell them it's it's the border so see my border is going to change after two second uh solid two pixel right so basically this is the html element and we could use any of the javascript uh, uh, function behind it after getting our uh, html element so that's all for this video guys uh, and i'm going to record more videos on uh, on any programming topics and thank you very much for watching bye for now